I the a-hole for insisting my wife gets a part-time job? We've been arguing about this quite a bit lately. She has been a stay-at-home mom for several years, but now our kids are in school full-time. The youngest just started kindergarten a few months ago. It has been the plan for a long time for her to get a job once they were in school. I make decent money at my job, enough to cover our bases and afford what we have. But we want to get a bigger house once the market calms down and inflation is through the roof this year. Everything is getting so expensive. Every time I bring it up, she just makes excuses. And once I try to offer solutions to them, she just gets frustrated and we argue. I'm trying to be sympathetic. I know we thought of working again must be stressful, but I'm getting fed up with the whole situation and starting to resent her a bit. It seems she wants to continue to stay at home, at least that's the vibe I'm getting, and just take care of the house and be there if the kids need her. Sick, early dismissal, etc. But I think we can deal with those issues as they come up. She thinks I'm being unreasonable even though we agreed on this plan years ago. Am I the a-hole? Am I the a-hole for insisting my ex contribute to Christmas? My 31 female ex, 29 male, have two kids together, 5 male and 3 male. We were never married and split amicably when the youngest was one. We've remained friends and have a wonderful co-parenting relationship. In Feb, my ex started dating a woman, T, with three kids. We've all met and she and her kids are very sweet. Recently, however, my ex called to let me know that T was having a hard time financially. I sympathized initially until he asked me to pick up the slack with our kids Christmas this year so he could help with hers as he can't afford to buy for five kids. I said absolutely not. These are his kids too and he is expected to contribute. He called me an AH and said I could afford it. I told him that wasn't the point and that he is responsible for his own kids first. He told me that I was ruining a good co-parenting relationship out of spite for him moving on. Absolutely false. I mostly believe I'm in the right. I'd even be willing to buy a few small gifts that kids could give to tease. The only reason I'm even entertaining the idea of being the AH is because he is right. I can afford to give my kids a good Christmas on my salary alone. Am I the a-hole for dying on this hill? Edit. Thank you all for your opinions. I've decided to mostly stick to my guns, but explain why 2x and try to find a solution that works going forward. I plan to suggest alternating Christmases. I'm also going to speak to a lawyer about setting up a proper custody agreement. Finally, I'm going to go ahead with getting the little gifts for T's kids, particularly with the idea that they might one day my kids step siblings. Thank you all again. Have wonderful Christmases if you are celebrating. Am I the a-hole for moving in with my dad even though my mom needs me here? I'm 17 and I have two older sisters and one younger brother and sister. My sister has recently had a baby and was having trouble keeping her house tidy as a single mother. I stayed with her for a week and she said she would give me money towards my driver's license if I clean her kitchen for her. There were no dishes left clean and she was avoiding going in there. I agreed, even though it would have taken me an entire day to get it properly clean because there was trash everywhere too, even with flies. I did it and the kitchen was sparking clean. Even the microwave and fridge. After I left back home, I didn't mention it for a while because she was still new to being a mom, but then two of my friends got their licenses. I brought it up to her and she said she didn't even remember telling me that and that she couldn't afford right now with a baby. I left it alone for a while. I asked her again the other day and she said point black that she never said it that. She definitely did because even though I loved both of them, I wasn't cleaning that mess for nothing. I mentioned it to my mother and she said not to lie about stuff like this when my sister had just given birth. This was three months after she said that about it and four months after she'd given birth. I had most of the money saved but I just needed a bit extra to have enough. I told my mother about everything that happened and she said to leave it alone. This is not the first time my older sister has promised me things and renegade. Theater visits, sleep overnights, bike rides, loads more. I guess I just wanted to believe her. My mother has always took her side. I had enough and explained everything to my dad because no one was listening to me. 
He told me to move in with me and I agreed. When I told my mom, she broke down saying that she doesn't favor my sister over any of us and that she needed me here to watch my younger brother when she was in work. For instance, my eldest sister got pregnant at 21 and she was ecstatic. My other sister got pregnant now at 21 and my mother is angry at her. I told her I wouldn't be staying and needed some time to cool off and pack some clothes. My siblings won't talk to me, not my pregnant sister, and blamed me for upsetting my mom, calling me the a-hole.